Hello everyone, this is a video on how to make a ex inter internal hard drive into an external hard drive. And an internal hard drive as in one you'll find inside your computer. And you might have these laying around or you can get them from a broken computer that doesn't work. So you're going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need this it's a set. It's a SATA to ID set. As you can see there. And you can find that off Amazon for like, I think I got this for $7. Next, you're going to need a hard drive. This is a 3.5 size, 160 gigabytes. And this is a uh, uh, Western, it's by West, uh, Western Digital. And then this is another hard drive I have. This is a, this is the 2.5 size, which I'll also show you how to hook up. Alright, sorry about the lights, a little bright, but that's by, uh, Hitachi. How <laughs> okay. So what, what comes in this is, this, the set comes with a few things. It comes with power cable. SATA cable. A, uh, uh, I think it's a PATA, P-A-T-A, -A, cable for the 3.5 and the 2.5. Yay. And a power source converter for the small one. Okay. Alright, next is, next is what you're going to need is your hard drive, which... I have this nice, uh, nice big hard drive right here, 160 gigabytes. This one is actually, I think this is more, I think this is actually 360. More expensive though. This is cheaper. You can get one of these on eBay, maybe 50 bucks, maybe a lot less. I'm not sure. I found this in my closet. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to hook it. Okay, for this video, all you're going to need is the PADA cable to USB and the power cable. I'm not I'm going to be using this also. But I'm not going to be using this. This is a SATA cable and my computer does not have a SATA drive. If your does if yours does, don't use this. Use this. I don't have one, so I won't use it. I don't even think this has a yeah, it doesn't even have a connector for it. I think this actually does have a connector for it right there. So, the connector actually looks this small thing right there, I think. Not sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to be showing you how to do the 3.5 first. First off, you want to get the bigger side of your PADA connector and simply connect it right where those prongs are. The power source just goes in the end right over here all right and next I'm going to show you how to do the 2.5 okay this one only connects by SATA so you get your SATA cable you connect the SATA cable I don't know if I can do that one okay I can't do that one handed and then your SATA cable we'll just plug into here Boop. So these two are connected. Then a USB just goes into your computer. And then for the power, this end, boop, goes in here, boop. And then the converter just goes at the end of the converter, boop. Just like that. Easy enough, right? Now I'm going to show you how to uh, format it onto your computer. Okay, to format your hard drive, just go to My Computer, right click, Manage, then it should pop up, okay, there we go. Then just want to go to dive, uh, Disk Management and wait for it to load. It takes a, uh, oh, there it is, alright. Now you're going to see Disk 1, that's your new hard drive. And it's not activated right now. You need to activate it. So, 
what you're going to do is right click new simple volume next next that's just the maximum amount of gigabytes you want you want the full amount maybe not I don't know what you want but next uh, you can assign a letter I chose Z because uh, I don't know but anything you want doesn't matter then you click next and next and fin oh I went back oh, okay you can label it yes I labeled it uh, new and approved hell yeah and click next and finished alright give it a couple seconds it's formatting formatting and you need to do this and you won't have to do this if you go if you use a different computer just have to format it once that's it takes a little bit to format um and there we go see brand new and you can open it you can uh, put stuff in there you're pretty much set and ready to go as you can see I'm just moving all my documents over there hope you enjoyed and comment rate rate and subscribe